There's a Japanese beetle in those flowers behind me. Oh my gosh, good morning everyone. Oh. I am in a rough place this morning. Today is brain MRI day and CT scan day. I, oh, I feel sick to my stomach about it. I just want to cry and curl up in a ball and not go anywhere for the day. I'm hiding from the kids so they don't see me like this. Kyle's finishing getting them ready. We gotta go soon. I just don't wanna go do this. We're checking on the cancer in my brain, the three new lesions, to see if they're big enough to do brain radiation on, if there's more, or if they're the same or better, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, so please just be praying for good results. And the CT will be checking the, my body to see from my chest and pelvic area what uh, what's cancer. So, no, oh, I'm so scared. I will be sedated for the brain MRI, so that is good. It's just somehow I'm still terrified. I took anxiety medicine, I took pain medicine. After this sedation last time, they had me laying flat longer than I would have liked. And I was like trying to sit myself up and they are wheeling me from another room to another room and one room to another room. And I, I was like trying to sit myself up and they're like, you have to wait, you know, don't wait, don't. Let's sit up. And I was like, well, I have pain. This hurts me and it's gonna be more pain the longer I stay. So I was like trying to sit up and they wouldn't let me sit up. I had to wait till we got parked the bed. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask, please put a note on my file that says incline bed for patient if it's seen flat at all. I know they lay it flat to transfer me to the MRI bed, but I would like them to incline it as soon as possible because I will pay for it in the next days to come. All right, I have to go blow my nose and get ready to go. Bye. Good morning, everyone. We are about to do a fashion show for scan day. I want you guys to see what everyone chooses to wear on scan day. It affects everyone in our house. Uh, Winnie was crying last night, worried about me having to go today. And Ellis is cool, calm, and collected, thinks it'll go well. Here's Winnie and her outfit choice for going to Pops' house and following up at Auntie Ashley and Uncle Brad's house. Oh la la! Ooh la la, beautiful Winnie. We love the look. Next up we have Ellis, who is cool, calm, and collected about today. Thinks it's gonna be good news, and here he is. Look at his outfit choice for scan day. Dad didn't choose, your dad chose it? Yeah. Yeah, dad chose his outfit. I said choose. <laughs> All right, and Kyle. Wait, wait, Kyle. Kyle is the strong, supportive husband who is deep down terrified for today. Let's see the look he went for. Oh yeah, so strong. So supportive. <laughs> He's trying to hide from me. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> All right, next up we have Jenny. Today she's got that no metal look, complete with fear and anxiety. <laughs> she looks good, she's wearing it well, and she's ready to go get that scan. Very nice. <laughs> I know my look for today is terrible. It is just that I can't wear metal, 
I need to wear something cozy. Oh, good job. A mommy and a baby. And easy shoes, so that's why I have the Crocs. So that's just the look for today. Easy, cozy, not cute. Bye-bye, mama. Bye, love you. Say bye. Bye, Winnie. I love you. Love you. Have a fun day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Woo! Saying goodbye to your babies never gets easier. I think it's because of the circumstances. It's just a bummer to have to say goodbye for this. sent me a text message. Sorry, I'm choked up. <laughs> My sister sent me a text message that said, she's sorry that I have to go through this or something. Here's a song. It's a happy song about God holding you. Remember today that during your scans, God is holding you. And I played it, and it was a happy song, and it was just what I needed to hear. From the moment I was diagnosed, my biggest prayer has been to for God to give me strength and peace, because whatever's gonna happen is already in like a plan in the works, right? And so, I just need strength and peace on this journey. I will fight as hard as I can for as long as I can. And that's just been my number one prayer. So this song was nice and kind of, kind of played off of that. So thanks, sis. We're here at City of Hope. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! It's gonna be such a fun day. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm like actually crying. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> little sedation, little sleep, a little nap. You won't even know what got you. I know. You don't have to hear the sounds. I know, that's all good. It's that I know I'm going to be in a lot of pain afterwards. Mm -hmm. I hate that I have to do this. All of it. That I'm just in this situation. I'm scared. I'm scared for the results. You know. I told my therapist yesterday that two months ago we had a scan and the results were good. So the probability of <clears throat> the scans being good today is very high. How about that? She said, oh, that's good. Good logic. I had a dream the other night that Kyle was telling me that he spoke with my oncologist and that my oncologist said, you guys, treatment is working so well <laughs> now that you guys won't even be able to keep up with how quickly it's killing the cancer. And we are so happy in my dream. <laughs> and how awesome would that be? That'd be pretty sweet. I mean, he came in with that attitude last time. He was like, you're gonna be the example. You're my, you're my person. <laughs> it's working so well. <laughs> they could say that this skin. What? They could get your result and say, oh, wow. whoa. <laughs> This has been going well. I do feel changes happening in my 
left lung area. Good changes. <laughs> How do you know? Not bad changes. It could be good changes. I'm hoping it's good changes, but we don't know. But I am feeling changes, so I'm hoping it's good changes. And here's the moment of truth where we find out. Which we won't find out today, but I have to get through this first. I'm terrified. Man. These days are feeling like they're just a little too close together. Yeah, with clinical trial I have to do it every two months. And it seems like each time it sheds off a couple days, so it's not quite a full two months. So I'm scheduling it in like basically a month and a half. It feels like it's a month apart yeah. with all the scheduling and calling and it feels so close. It is. Um, how do you feel? Today nervous, but very confident about what's to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think blue's great. I think it's working. And I think your brain is just kind of sitting tight. What do you think they're going to say about my brain? Same. Keep waiting. Still nothing. I hope my brain will still be nothing, like just sitting there small. I think it'll just be sitting there. I'm worried that they're going to say I need brain radiation. If they do, that's okay. But it's okay. It's the laying flat for an hour multiple times. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm not there yet. We're not there yet. Nope. I would just like to not be there yet. <laughs> I think we're not going to be there yet. I really do. That would make me really happy. I think this is going to be like last scan where they say, great, keep on rolling. That's what I think. Thanks for being here for me. Oh yeah. Being my support. Always. He let me tuck in and he set up everything for today. Mm. You got the kids ready. Mm -hmm. I did Alyssa's hair, but you did everything. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you so much. Ditto. You deserve it. I wouldn't do it for other people. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go in. Just take it as a nap. <laughs> Where I wake up in pain going, ah, can you set me up? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought about bringing a post-it note and putting it on my forehead and saying, please incline my bed if it is not inclined. But with the brain MRI, I bet they don't want a post-it note on my head. No. <laughs> Just try to remind them when you go in. Yeah, someone put a note on it last time, but they didn't, like, I don't think they get the severity of it. Like, I can't lay flat or it really hurts me, but... When you go back, I'll try to remind your nurse. They She's put it in the system last time. It's just, they don't look in the notes when they're right. transferring me from the MRI to back right. to my cozy room in the cozy room they sit me up because they read the notes but on the in between you're not asleep when you go into the MRI room or are you I'm not asleep when I go into the MRI room maybe you can just say it one more time before you go under you think those same people mm -hmm. will be so the those ones are the ones loading me? who'll be loading you just say please if you could remember it's okay I'm sorry but I'll be out but when I'm done coming out of the MRI machine if you could sit me up right away it would really help with my pain Okay. Just try. I'll be brave. Just be brave. Because it could make a big difference. I know. Because that's laying flat for a half an hour as opposed to two hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who You're knows gonna... how long. Yeah. yeah. So All right. I'll try, try to be brave. And I'll try to. Like, I'll say it when you're going in, even though I know <laughs> the more people that hear it. I'll say it, it babe. You don't need to say it. I'm fine. The more people that hear it. No. I'll say it. All right. Tell it to the people waiting in line at Starbucks. You see her, can you, can you incline her? Are you gonna go to Starbucks? I guess, yeah. Wow, they have a Starbucks here. And he's gonna live it up, why not? If uh, they let you. I don't get to go in there with you, so. Yeah. And I think last time it was, it wasn't too long. No? No. Hour and a half, two hours, tops. That's nice, yeah. enjoy yourself. I will.
Good thing we keep masks in the car now because I keep forgetting to bring a mask. I didn't bring one either. Are you okay with a pink and blue one? Of course. Cool. Team Pastel. Pink and blue. Cotton candy. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so um, Jenny just went back and they will probably have her for about an hour. Um, and so I have some time to kind of waste. So there's this, uh, last time we came, there is a gift shop here, which I'll show you. And they have the cutest like big pug stuffed animal. And so I wanna go sneak and get it for her because I know that the kids will love it and I know that Jenny will love it and she's always too afraid to buy it so I am going to go get it for her so hopefully it's in there I haven't looked um, but I'm gonna go check it out and see if it's in there You literally can't take me anywhere. I'm a, I, I, I can't say no. Um, so, of course I had to get the giant flower power for Jenny and Winnie and Ellis. Who are we kidding? They're gonna love this. Look how big it is. But I'm so happy they still had it. It was moved in a different spot and I was a little nervous. But as you saw, it was like on top of a cooler. But how cute is that? Flower will probably try to make this her new best friend. But Jenny's gonna be so happy to come out of the MRI with that, I know it. And then I also got a really nice new sweatshirt, which is not needed, but I love, let's see if I can focus. I love repping City of Hope where I go because it sparks conversations and I'm really, proud of this hospital and like to show off where Jenny gets her amazing treatment. So I got a nice gray sweatshirt for myself and then some snacks, but uh, that's, that's what we did. I'm just walking around campus, <clears throat> waiting. Also got a coffee and this has been in my arms the whole time because <laughs> it doesn't uh, fit anywhere. And tons of people think I'm carrying around a gigantic real pug. And it's just making everybody smile. So if this <laughs> can make everyone smile, then I think it'll get Jenny to smile too when she comes out of, uh, comes out of the MRI and CT. So can't be scared. You can't have sadness, no anxiety, if you have a huge giant stuffed pug next to you, so <laughs> I, I think, I think it'll work. Okay, we're out of the MRI. How you feeling? Sleepy. Sleepy, you got your puppy. And now we're waiting for the CT. 
Do you have to drink that stuff today? Probably, huh? All right, good job. Thank Halfway you. done. Mm -hmm. Thank you for my puppy. <laughs> of course. I think Flower's gonna steal it. I think, think so too, yeah. Super cute. Love you. Love you. This is the better drink I prefer. They give me lemonade. To mix in. Now I just need my little cap to shake it around. All done. Yay. Got through a sedation, MRI, and then our CT. And I got to go with you for most of it. And um, got to go back to the CT area and see the whole CT machine. Did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty. And uh, the tech was really nice. Everybody was really nice today. Took care of you. And now we're done. Long emotional day. You're groggy and not feeling the best. But we did it. We're all done. Now we get to leave. My throat hurts really bad. I guess they had to put a breathing tube down. Right? Mm -hmm. So it hurts really bad in here. And then uh, I'm tasting that gross taste from the sedation. We should have made a note to keep candy in the car. Oh yeah. Or some sort of mint or something. Mm -hmm. But we didn't. And the contrast was, ugh. I hate contrast. Yeah. You know, since switching to my arm, this was not through my port, the contrast. So I didn't have the heart flutter or the sense of panic when it went in. It just is like this ugh, feeling yucky. And I just don't like it. But they said, you know, it's normal, drink water. So I'm gonna drink a lot of water. But on these days, I just feel absolutely disgusting. Ugh. Yeah. I'm happy it's done. They had me at an incline right as soon as I woke up. I was at an incline. So I asked two people, please will you make sure when they put me back in this girdy, girdle, girdle? Gurney? Gurney. <laughs> will you make sure they incline it? And they did it. So That was nice. My pain already is not as bad as it was last, last time. time. Yeah, so it makes a big <clears throat> difference. I just... I hate being in this situation. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. To have to do this every two months is so insane. Maybe it'll get better. I hope so. I hope so. How was your pain for your CT? It's okay. You were flat for like at least 10 minutes for that. I yeah. wanted to knock on the tube and say, come on, wrap it up. Yeah. But <laughs> you did good. I was polite and patient. 
it's just so hard going through all of this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to be extra emotional. I'm sure it has something to do with everything that yeah. happened. Yes. <laughs> I came out with a dog. Did they see me? Did you film? Mm -hmm. I have a dog. I love him. And and people in the hospital liked him too. Everybody liked him. People were getting a kick out of him. He was popular. So I'm sure the kids will love him too. Mm -hmm. And Flower. She has her dog that I've shown you guys that we call Audrey Baby Dog. And it has like the ripped off face. I'm thinking this will be her new crew. Replacement. That one. He's helping replacement. I'm thinking it's her new crew. That one, this one, and her flower. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We love this place, but let's get out of here. <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Oh, and I was said to tell you when you went back, oh. we ran into a viewer who watches us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And she wanted me to say before she left for today uh, that you give her so much inspiration. Oh. And she's praying for you and she wants you to keep going because what you're doing is amazing for everybody like her who's going through what you're going through. Oh. She said you're... you're she said both of us, but she just kept saying, your wife is such an inspiration. Which she was so nice. Thank you for saying hi to us. It means so much to us when you guys say hi to us and you were so kind. Yeah. You said all the nicest things. Makes I'm us, emotional makes over us that. Feel good. Yeah, she was yeah, so nice. She was saying that I'm like an inspiration and I hope so much. So nice. She was nice. So nice. Yep. And I hope all of what you had to go through today went well. Yeah. And we're rooting for you. <laughs> I think, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she said this is her 11th year at City of Hope. Yeah, I remember the like number that. 11. And, um. You don't want to give too much info. No, no, no. That's it. That's all I would share. <laughs> is that she's been doing this a while. And she was, she was so thankful for you and we're thankful for her. I'm only on year two and I'm this broken yeah you're not broken you got this okay we stopped at mother's market on the way home they have vegan candy bars and Ellis has a treat bag at school where he keeps vegan treats so that if someone brings in cupcakes or donuts and they're not vegan, Ellis goes to his treat bag and picks out a special candy bar or something and he really gets a kick out of it. So we want to fill it up because with the end of the school year coming, they are having lots of uh, treats. So we want to make sure he has enough to go through the end of the year and have just as many treats as all the other kids. I am not feeling well. So I stayed in the car. Kyle ran in to get that stuff, but you guys know he's the treat master. He knows all about treats, so he'll be fine. Hi. What'd you get? We did not have much in the candy bar area, but I got what they have. So I got some of these. These are new rice milk crunch bars, no honey. A couple snap bars for him. This I think you'll think looks cool. Some hollow. They only have one of these for you. My favorite candy so bar, thank you. you. Yeah. Of these uh, a water, 
some cookies. All right, let's go. Some tortellini for you. Oh, thanks, honey. I can't find that anymore. Thank you, honey. Yeah. I love you. I love you. <clears throat> my dad had the kids during the day, and my sister and brother-in-law have them now. So we are picking up Indian food because we love it to bring over. And if you know Indian food, you know that them being out of Alagobi is a no-no. <laughs> That's my favorite. They're out of it. So. But we got some dal, some rice, some naan. Samosas. Samosas. We'll make do. And we're going to deliver some dinner to... Auntie Ashley and the kids, too. We'll be with them. What do you mean, deliver? We're bringing it to them. Yeah, yeah. We'll be with them. <laughs> no, I like Obi. Are you running out of Gobi? No cauliflower? Potatoes? I don't know. I'll take just a potato version. Bye, Summer. I opened it all for you. Thank you. I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. I love you. I'm proud of you today. You're scared. I'm proud of you today when you're scared. I'm proud of you today when you're scared. I'm proud of you today when you're scared. Thank you, guys. Give Mommy hugs. I'm proud of you guys for being away from us most of the day. Alice, give Mommy a hug. Oh. Now our new family member. Oh, he's group hugging us. Flower, you like our new family member group hugging us? Yeah. Oh, she's kissing him. Oh, Flower, you like him? Oh, wow. Flower. Flower, so kind. Oh, oh she's kissing his cheek. Oh, so nice. Flower. I said he's not a I just got out of the shower. I almost forgot to film an outro, but I remembered my hair looks so funny. <laughs> I look like a wet rat. You can see how my hair is still thinning. The length part is the part that's thinning the most. So I think I might just cut it a couple inches off. I don't know because it's starting to look very questionable. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this hair. The way I lose it is I'm having hair thinning. So even with my eyebrows, you can see I have a new patch of missing hair. It like will, I'll lose a patch of hair and then it will start to grow back. Lose a patch and then it'll start to grow back. So I'm losing patches of hair, but it doesn't grow back as quickly as an eyebrow hair or an eyelash hair. So I'm gonna have a bunch of short layers, I think. Uh oh, I feel like that means a pixie cut is in my near future. <laughs> Some people look super cute in pixie cuts. I love pixie cuts, but I just feel like I, I am not the one to rock a pixie cut. We'll see. But yeah, you can tell that my hair is thinning more and more. Kyle just came out. How are you, love? Good. I'm sitting here with our new pug friend. Yeah. Today was. A big day filled with lots of feelings, as you guys saw, and I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it's done. I did it. It's over. I did it. So I'm very proud of myself. I am so grateful for my team at City of Hope. They always take care of me, and I felt very taken care of. I'm not experiencing much pain like from laying flat to the scan. So I think the person who lifted me up right after the scan did a great job because by last time I was having so much extra pain in my chest and back and I'm not having that right now. So I am so grateful. And the only pain I am having is in my throat. It feels like someone <clears throat> stuck a plastic 
pancake spatula down my throat and a very hard plastic spatula down my throat and um, it hurts really bad it's very tender every swallow kind of feels like when we had your tonsillitis mm. um, but hopefully that'll be better soon after we got dinner Ashiana we went to my sister's house and we shared dinner with them which was very nice and spent time together also very nice came home well then we had to go to the pharmacy get a prescription mm -hmm. why didn't I film any of this stop at Sprouts to get some things you're tired and then yeah I'm really tired and then um, came home cuddled with the kids show them their new dog they love him and we need to vote on a name for him so if you have any name ideas let us know because we're, we are on the lookout for a name for him. He's a boy. We're, we're, we're deciding he's a boy, right? Yeah. And Flower loves him. When we first showed him to her, she thought he was real. It was super cute. We should have filmed that. <laughs> I just keep missing it today. It's a long day. It was. Whoa, whoa, Flower. Sorry for all the pug noises. If you have a pug, you know they're noisy. All right, I'm going to hang up here as if I'm talking on the phone with you guys. And I will see you guys very soon. I love you and I appreciate you all. Thank you for anyone who sent prayers my way or positive thoughts my way. It really, truly means so much to me. And I'm so grateful. I am hoping and praying that these scan results will be good news. And wouldn't that be just great? That's what I'm expecting. I'm really hoping it's going to be good news. Mm -hmm. So we will see. I will update you guys as soon as I get the results. And ooh, let's keep praying or sending positive thoughts, whatever you guys do. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.